Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We're here to meet with the Attorney General, the FBI Director, and other officials from the Department of Justice to discuss what's been happening on our campuses. The protest movement, the encampments that have been happening throughout the United States have been peaceful. And anybody who says that they have been violent either doesn't know what they're saying or is lying. When you go to a football game, there's more disorderly conduct, vandalism, physical and verbal assaults after a game than there were at these encampments. And we all know we're not going to cancel football games. So let's end with the nonsense that the police had to move in because they were violent. In fact, it was violent when people assaulted the pro-Palestinian solidarity encampments. And it was violent when the police entered. So we're here to demand an investigation to hold our law enforcement accountable for what's been happening on these student campuses. Number two, we're calling for the De Department of Justice to review their national security policies because there are those in this country of special interest groups that want to unleash the national security apparatus against our students, and we will not tolerate it. So there must be a defense of justice, and it starts with the Department of Justice. As Martin Luther King said, we don't want people who just call for order. We want people who are calling for justice. And number three, this is about the First Amendment. And if you're for the First Amendment, then you must defend the right of these students to protest against the genocide that's happening in Palestine. It is out of their moral conviction, out of their moral clarity and moral purity for what they are doing on these campuses. They are speaking the conscience of America, and that must be preserved and protected. That's what we're here for. We're going to continue engaging our U.S. officials and hold them accountable to the United States Constitution. That's the role of MPAC.